Hi, my name is April Truckee. I'm going to talk today about how to raise chickens. My husband and I have been married about, <coughs> excuse me, seven or eight years. We were talking about um, what we wanted to do with our first home. discussed um, raising chickens and waited about it. My parents um, had never raised, had chickens, but my other members of my family had raised different things like you know, horses and chickens. So at my parents' home, we just had cats or dogs, you know. Pig, cows, chickens, pigs. I didn't know that, that my other family had had raised things like that. learned about all the different ways that you have to take care of things on a farm, milking the cows and taking care of the animals. Now we're ready to start working. <coughs> husband and I talked about looking for so we started searching for our, our house sort of waited until springtime so it was sometime around March my husband and I talked and decided we're gonna look for the house so a week we contacted the real estate agent <coughs> and exchanged email number emails and phone numbers didn't hear anything So finally we found the house that we were interested in. We contacted the real estate agent and let them know. in the house was a large yard, a, a big kitchen, three or four decent sized rooms. <coughs> we had two dogs and two cats, so we needed room for them. So we found two different houses 
that we were interested in. One that we really liked had a nice big yard. So it had plenty of room for the chickens. <coughs> second house we weren't really interested in. We really wanted the first house. So I asked my husband, talked to my husband about building the chicken coop and he said no let's wait and I tried to convince him. I was disappointed. I wanted the fresh eggs. I was so excited but so we waited. The house, you know, we had to buy new things, like a new washer, things things that needed to be taken of first. So it got to be summertime. And I asked my husband again about the chicken coop. Kept bugging him and bugging him about it. And he kept saying, no, let's wait. And then finally, what happened was my friend <coughs> had chickens and a coop. And I, I told her that I really wanted chickens. And she said that she would give it all to me for free. I was like, really? So she said, anytime you're ready, we'll bring it over, set it up. So a month later, I said, I'm ready. I'm ready for those chickens. Bring them on over. <coughs> So I look into the chicken coop and saw three chickens. So she put the chickens in a carrier of some sort and put that in the truck and brought that over and we set up the the chicken coop with the fence and the enclosure and then we put the chickens in there so we added three more chickens to the three that my friend had given us and they kind of didn't get along too well The original three were kind of a little standoffish. They didn't want to hang out with the other chickens, but the other the, the newest three were kind of a little more friendly. So we sort of had to force them to, to be together and to interact. But still, they were kind of two groups. But after a few days, they started to interact more So now, <coughs> excuse me, now we're getting about four to five eggs every single day. Before Halloween, We did some research to f figure out what kind of, if we wanted more chickens, you know, what breed was going to work best for where we lived. Um, and we weren't sure what was the best kind, but I just went ahead and ordered 30 baby chicks, which is kind of crazy, I understand. That's, that's a lot of chickens.
So we got those chickens around the 1st of November. <coughs> So we, I got an incubator, something to keep the, the chicks warm. The eggs were in there for about 18 eggs, and then they started to hatch. So when they hatched, we were taking care of them and, you know, feeding them and making sure they had water. So it took a few hours to take care of all of them. We had three different kinds. First I, one was Rhode Island, has the best eggs. The second one was called White, white rock. It was good for something and and their eggs as well. The third kind, the last one, buff, called buff something. They're really, they're big chickens. They're good for their meat and their eggs to eat. So we had all, all three different kinds all together. That room, the room that they were that they were in was very warm, about 90 degrees. <coughs> <coughs> 